Hello everyone, I'm Chris Love and I'm here on Splinterlands showing you the five different ways you can earn money. Um, one of them is by uh, getting in early to this game as I did and buying cards or opening packs and getting, you know, cards worth more than, than what you paid for and then listing them on the market to sell. And some of them sell very quick. I just started a video a minute ago and I put up my Prince Renian and he immediately sold because I was putting him up so cheap. Um, I was I had to stop that video because I couldn't figure out what was going on. <laughs> but here's the new one and it shows a minute ago, literally, this just happened a minute ago. Um, sale by myself Clove 71 to Soufrain, um, $29.99. It's 234 steam in my pocket. Uh, I just got this card, uh, just opened it once. So it's not, it's a, it's a big gain financially for me, especially before the holidays. There's so many ways you can buy these cards so cheap, you know, or if you happen to pull one on the market. Um, I did list this other one as well. Oh, we have a mystery award. This is another way. This is another uh, number two. The first one is definitely um, selling your cards on the market. The second one is the mystery potions. Sometimes you can pull a very expensive card, and it has happened to a lot of people. It hasn't happened to me. The the expensive card right now it's the Prince Julian, and it's a thousand dollar card. And some people have pulled it more than once, actually. Fire, I think it was Fire Explorer pulled it twice. So you can just get lucky. Okay, we got a brilliant legendary potion. Not bad. We'll use that next time we open up a pack. So that's another way, um, but. The market, let's go back to the market real quick. It's going to go to summoners, beta summoners. And as you see right here, uh, my second one I put up is still up there, but the first one went instant. It was, it was awesome. I put it up and it went instantly. So that shows you the market. Definitely by tonight, this is going to be gone. That's a very cheap price. The next one coming up is $35.98. So if you just drop it, oh, so fun. He's the one who bought it at $29.99. That's funny. And then that's that's this is a very good uh, lesson right here. When you buy low and sell high, he's making a good profit from uh, doing that. He should buy the other one. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Normally, I would just wait and hot on you to get the maximum price, but right now it is, you know, there's a lot of things going on, holidays, people need money, so I'm just showing you the ways I earn money myself through Splinterlands. Okay, so the market is a huge thing. That's um, You even have flipping when you do the packs. That's the, the uh, other thing. Number three would be flipping. If you are on Steam, go check out Neil McSpadden videos. He has where he's um, done two, three thousand dollars worth. Uh, he's the expert at that, and he has made quite a bit of profit. Uh, sometimes he, uh, you know, came even, but other times he really scored. Uh, as well as Zaku, Zaku has scored a lot. Zaku has something interesting for your flipping your third way to make money if they're flipping it. You take a pack and you can analyze it right here. It's on monstermarket.io and it shows you what you got. Did you use any potions? Um, what the burn value is? And etc. This was not a very awesome pack right there. <laughs> but we can try to go get some gold potions and see if they work. Um, the other way to make money on Splinterlands is come on the Steam blockchain and make a really great post. Especially if you have a lot of followers, that's awesome exposure for Splinterlands and Steam Monsters, you will get a chance to be upvoted by them. The average vote is 50%. Sometimes if it's a great post, you're going to get 100. Um, follow Splinterlands on Steam. 
they have posts coming out about their curation contest and also all you have to do is make a great post and then come and drop your steam link into the splinterlands discord and I myself go through there every day and check for great splinterlands posts so you're gonna come to post promotion see monster post promotion and just drop your link in here now if you see Oh, this is one right here. Yeah, I said I was going to upload this in the morning. Yeah, me too. So this is Keo Kids. He has not posted in a long time, but he has amazing. He deserves 100% upvote for this. He does not post that often, but he does amazing work on these posts for giving people awesome information. He pulls all this code and gets the stats. And this is the rewards card stats, and this is cards by League Cap. He says he hasn't realized how much health Peaceful Giant and Max had. A lot. Very much. Uh, he lists what he did with the minor fixes. And people are already commenting. It's very handy table for checking the metagame in each ranked. So rewards card status. Let's go to that. This is awesome. I love this right here. It shows you. This is another way to earn money. I guess this would be your fifth way now. Your fifth way is come in here and you're going to use these charts to see which cards are going to um, be going out soon at 100% out of print. Like the brownie is at 79.81%. The wood nymph is at 83. Let's see. Ooh, wow, look at this. 99.5. Prismatic energy. <gasps> Prismatic Energy is 99.5. I need to get that card right now. I use that a lot. And that's a great card to have. And I bet it's cheap. Let's go real quick and find out. It is a reward card. And it is really awesome. 15 cents? That's not bad at all. That's not bad. We're going to get a few. I think I just want the single ones though. So that's another way right here. Uh, these cards that are going to be out of print, they are uh, a lot of them go go up in value, and sometimes that happens very fast. But most of the time you're going to want to hold hold those cards for a while. Like my Prince Rain and I have right there. I think I had that about six months to a year I have I had two extra ones and um, you know I didn't feel the need to sell until right now so when you need some money to take out it's like you have money in there you know to take out and the market is doing extremely well um, you can also click on your history right here show history and sales Oh, it's gone. The second one's gone too. Uh, it happened right here with you guys. <laughs> That's a good chunk of money for just pulling a card. $30 for one card. That's nice. And I got it within five minutes. I just made $60 in five minutes, literally, with Splend Lines. That's a lot. Some people don't make $60 an hour. <laughs> At 9.47 a.m. and 9.52 a.m. That's awesome. And it's right here in the block. I wonder if that was uh let's see. Yep, he bought that one too. <laughs> Shout out to Suroffen. You are awesome because he's taking these cards and he's doing flipping right now what I'm talking about that's a smart man or woman right there awesome so he's taking them and he's putting them back on the market because there's not that many this is a summoner let's go to the market summoner beta 
$36.99. There you go. Wow, that's pretty smart what he's doing. He's got the whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has nine for thirty-six ninety-nine. And he bought mine for thirty. So he's gonna sell it at thirty-seven and it will sell at thirty-seven. And that's a seven dollar profit. He's getting two times on there. It's $14 profit he's going to get. That's sweet. You see what I mean? That is awesome. How to earn money on Splinterlands. Bam. Flippity. That's a big, big thing right there. It's not just, the game is not just about battling. Although battling is fun and I love it. It is also about the market. Actually, the, 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 the fifth one is rental. The rental market. You can rent cards and, and go earn all the DEC. And then uh, if you don't want to buy cards and flip them, you can take your DEC, come on the Steam Engine with it, and sell it. It sells. It does sell. A lot. That's that's a easy way to earn money in Splinterlands. All right, well, I'm excited about this. This uh, video came out great. We got the two sales there. We earned... $30 and $30 in five minutes flat. I'll be back again next time with more ways on how to earn money and have fun in Splinterlands. Bye-bye, everyone.